Hi, Duck. So we're back and we're going to do something a little bit different. Well, apparently we've not done this before. I haven't seen it being done before mm. on, on, on this channel. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we're going to do a complete change of an acrylic design. We're going to cut out new smile lines. We're going to fill them. We're going to remove bling. We're going to remove 3D because Georgie still has all of her nails on, which is a rarity for Georgie because she hasn't so goddamn long. So yeah, let's get cracking. I've still got a bad finger. I'm gonna oh, have some no. sympathy still. Let's have a look at this finger. It's still. It's look. Look how much better that looks today, though. It does. Yeah. It looks like. A, it doesn't look like a hot dog anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's. Yeah. The nail is obviously still battered. That's going to take about three months to get better. But you know. Don't look at the nails. Yes, I know they need doing. Okay. We will move on. We're going to take off the bling first. So I've got some old nippers. I'm not going to use our nippers. <laughs> Because well, these are for time, skin. Every time you say nippers, I think you say nippers. <laughs> nippers, darling. <laughs> Adam, sense. nippers. Not going to use ours because we play for skin. I've got some old ones, some old Basante ones that I'm just going to use to get on these gems. So you want to like grab the sides and you can just. Release them. You can do this with some of your 3D as well. So you can clip some of it, but the rest you can get off with your e file. So just grabbing the sides and it'll crack the gel that is holding the stones on. You can grab the edges of your 3D. Oh, that one went for a trip. That went for a little ride. Quite depressing how many stones are actually missing. I don't oh, think there's that you many. Not it's not that many. My thumb is completely battered. Yeah. It? Oh, yeah, they're gone. Save me the job. I've got one left on it. Making a bit sad. Let's leave. So, even though these are in 3D, we're going to do the same. No. Every time I clip, I close my eyes. Can wear goggles. Protective goggles. They're buying some safety goggles. Yeah. Make sure they've got Swarovski crystals on. Okay. <laughs> A blinged up pair. Blinged up pair, that's what we need, Georgie. Have to collab with someone for some uh, blingy KM goggles. Yes. Vision Express. <laughs> Right, so we've got the majority off there, and then we're going to do the rest with an e-file. So I'm still going to prep the cuticles and all that. We can still do that. Actually, you would do that before you take everything else down. Yeah. Oh, it's done what then. That? Just because I want to get it done out the road. Yeah. Out the road. Out the road. Because, I don't, because the nail will become a bit more fragile when I start to reduce the thickness down. And, I, and I'm going to be messing with the nails and I don't want me to knock the nail when it's fragile while I'm doing this. So while they're still sturdy, we're going to do the cuticle prep. Three weeks is my maximum. Can't, can't go. Your nails we, grow quite quick, I think. Do. Yeah. Whereas Faye, Faye just don't grow. She's Ooh. clearly lacking the vitamins. Well, so am I, but obviously not in the nail department. <laughs> So while um, uh, this last three weeks, how many tattoos has Georgia had in the last three weeks? Oh, um, come on, Georgia! I had my foot done on Monday. Yeah, <laughs> and then I had a big thigh piece and my arm done again. So it's yeah, three weeks. Yeah. How many <laughs> tattoos have you had in the last two months? <laughs> Six maybe? Wow. Like one a week, innit? Yeah. yeah. One a week. So pretty do much. You, do you think you might have a slight obsession? I am the back in three weeks today, so <laughs> <laughs> possibly. So Georgia has been 
fully tattooed. I am yet to see the case to make the logo tattooed. It's coming. Is it coming? It's it's coming. Is it coming? Because we've had so many people having the Kirsty McKean logo tattooed and I absolutely love it. I wonder where it's going to go. On your forehead. Right, like <laughs> smack in the middle. Well, are you going to have it here like I've got it and lots of other people have done or are you going to put it somewhere different? I might have it on my arm somewhere. Yeah. Are you eventually want to have a full sleeve of different stuff? I like more patchwork yeah. style as opposed to jam packing it in but then the way I'm going who knows I was going for one so there won't be much skin left will there I was going to say it's all about the real estate isn't it you know what I mean it's, yeah you know you've got to fit everything any, anywhere well, most you people your start box. when they're 18 or even younger getting tattooed don't they whereas I was 22 so it was like I feel like I've you've missed out all these years you've got plenty of years you've got plenty, plenty of years I didn't think I started having tattoos till I was a lot older than that Mine's like a midlife crisis, but you're definitely not. You're you're just living your hot girl life. Do you know what I mean? Uh, eventually to get Baby Yoda tattooed on my leg. Yeah. He's come. Because you do love Baby Yoda, oh, don't you? Did you see your birthday cake? I saw your birthday cake. Would you like me to send you my version of Mandalorian season one? Oh, go on. I would send it. So, just the best. Because I've got like no time at all in my life, <laughs> what I decided to do is re edit the whole season in the one film. Because, like, I don't have any spare time at all. And this was like two years ago, I think. Just was it when COVID? When did that come out? 2019. Maybe like the January 2019, I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And I literally like spent a month of sort of maybe like a few hours each night. Just re-editing the whole because I always thought the season was just a bit too long, mm. and there was like too, so much filler, and so I've Prompt. condensed it, and it's like two hours and fifty minutes. And partner would absolutely love that. That's it. He loves everything like that. I've got, I've got a, I've got another thing. I've got a website for fan edits. Please, anything baby odor on, on there. You're there. You're there for it. Yeah. So I'm using the default bit. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take down as much of this nail as we can, surface-wise, not length. So the debunk bit will just fire through the product and take it down. Going to work on this lateral length first. A lot of that's just cleaner, isn't it? Until you sort of get down, because it's sort of painted more with the acrylic. Yeah. Is it gel Yeah, it's acrylic. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this down, but we need. I think it will be a bit impossible to get rid of every last bit of colour. So, you need to think about the design that you're going to put on top. You need to cover any of the remaining colour. Yeah? So I'll look down the barrel of the nail and I also turn the hand over so I can see how much thickness I have at the side. So I have to be quite careful of how thin I'm going to go. So I'm using no pressure now, I'm just touching. Skimming the Yeah, just skimming over to get rid of as much colour as I can. Because we had a clear layer underneath I don't think that every single nail has a clear all the way to the end, but we will find. We're not going. We know we'll just leave a bit of colour there. But whatever we do on top needs to cover the colour. And if you did sort of chop over a little bit, you could refill anyway with clear acrylic. You could, yeah, you could put a sculpture form underneath and just pad that out. But with the default bit, you've got, you know, it's it's more coarse down here and it's less coarse up here. So when you want to do something that's a little bit more delicate, use the tip of the default bit. But when you want to get rid of a lot of thickness, you use the bottom part of the default bit. Oh. It, sorry. Well, the art really shows just how 
while the debut that works when you're doing something like this. Yeah, it really, really does. It's quite an essential in your kit, it really is, because especially when you're doing removals as well, the debut bit will help you with removals. That really, that was quite quick. Yeah. Where some bits of some tape just like some chips, Yeah. Because if you just use, like, say, the ceramic bits or, you know, something that was softer, you know, don't be scared of this bolt bit because we're not adding a massive amount of pressure. We're just using the correct parts of the bolt bit so it actually does its job. So it's stiff here, so... We're just whizzing across with this bottom section of the bit. I feel like as well with a bit this coarse, you really have to think about how much you move it, don't you? Yeah, you've got to keep moving it because it's going to get it's going to heat up. You're right there, Georgia. Could you, if you like really want to do a tiny, just go. Switch to them, maybe you could if you're too scared. Yeah. But you can just like. Or even manually. Yeah. But if you just use this very delicately with the tip, because the tip is a lot finer. And it's a lot finer because the teeth are closer together. And I'll show you, let me just do this little bit here, and I'll show you the bit itself in a little bit more detail. So you see how the teeth are further, wider, further apart yeah. down here and then they get closer and closer as they go to the tip. Mm -hmm. So this makes this a finer grit than it is here because of the distance between each of the teeth and also the teeth are shorter here as well. So it's like, some people call it like a 3-in-1 or a 5-in-1 it's a default bit, it has many, many functions, okay? It also is serrated all the way to the tip as well. So if you look at the tip, you can see that this, it's all serrated there as well. So if you need to like dig out a section, you could even go in like this. Very careful, obviously. Now for this one, We've got a smile line. We're going to cut out this smile line. So first of all, I'm going to take away this colour. I'm just going to gently run it along here. I'm not going to go too close. Because I'll need another bit for this. We'll use a more pointed bit to get right up. Yeah. So I'm just going to run that across the edge like that. And again, I need to look down the barrel to see how much we've taken away. And I need to check the side to see what we can take away and what we can't. When it comes to pricing something like this, if you're doing a redesign, you know, you're not going to be far off the price of a full set because there's still a lot of work involved. So don't be scared to charge accordingly for the work that you're actually doing. So they might save themselves 20 quid. If that's what they want to do, then this is what you're going to do. On a salon basis, it's probably easy to just do a soak off and a fresh set if you wanted something this sort of like the whole redesign process. No, I think it's easy to do this. It's less time consuming to do this. Right, yeah. 
I suppose you could still charge, can't you? You still need to charge, but it's still time. Well, exactly. I mean, if you can, you put whatever extras you add in. Yeah. You charge 50 pounds an hour, 50 pounds an hour. Yeah. And some people charge by the hour, yeah. some people charge by the service. Mm -hmm. But when you charge, you need to be thinking about products that you're using. Yeah. You need to be thinking about how long it takes you. What's your thoughts on charging per hour? I don't mind charging per hour. I think that that's not a bad thing. Some people do think it's a bad thing, but... As long as you're not doing value in a random way, then your customers can start to see that anymore. Yeah, and you, you know that you're, you're charging correctly because of the products that you're using. Yeah. yeah. So that, that money per hour still needs to include that. Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, if someone wants to complain, you know, you're going to have Yeah, thing. yeah. So the three D exactly. So the three D look how easy that comes off with it. You bought bit as well. Yeah. I'm just gonna come across that Chevron smile line. I'm going to say that Chevron was already Chevron. Yeah. You could file a new smile line in. Yeah. We could round this off and make it round, but yeah. I quite like the Chevron. I thought it would be shape of a nail, it's just compliments. It does, well. you're right, you're right, it just compliments it. Supporting the nail as well with my finger. And we'll get rid of as much of the colour as I can with the debug bit. And then I'm going to change bits. I'm going to use a secret weapon bit, which can be used for many things as well. And we're going to go up the side here, get rid of that little bit there. And because this is straight, you can cut your smile line and you can make it nice and neat. You can even move it further back if you wanted to move it further back. One of my most viewed TikToks is me cutting a smile line back in with this. Really? Satisfaction in Scotland. I've just cut in a brand new smile line with the, with the um, secret weapon and it's got like 3 million views. And I was like, I never, I was like, what? I'm just putting a new smile on. I was like, oh, people but like what's, it. To you, what's just sort of standard tends to be like, oh wow, look at that. Look yeah. That. So like Georgia was saying earlier, you know, this is a pointier bit, so you can be more precise. So I've gone to the pink ceramic bit now. Because I want to be a little bit more gentler here. 
if you're really, really careful, you can use a jibble bit like we did on this one, where I can see a little bit of lifting and I want to make sure I have minimal contact with that natural nail. So I've gone to a finer bit. Ceramic bit doesn't heat up as much either. side notice the position of the hand I'm making sure I can really see what I'm doing and then we're just going to take off that top coat very minimal pressure I'm just making contact to take off so we're going to fill this I keep looking at that bad nail, I'm so sorry. Because we're going to fill this, obviously, but we're going to put a new design over the top of that clear base. So I want it thin. So do you know what I was saying earlier about them being fragile? Mm. I could go for a wee now. No, no going for <laughs> no a wee. Wheeze. No wees, no nothing. But the ones with the cut out smile, mm. we're going to fill the back. So we'll fill that back with strip tees, which is our one of our cover pinks. And then the end, we will give that a design. So we still want this blend here to be nice. So it kind of like slopes, and you can see that side angle there. So that'll be filled with product. And we'll rebalance the apex as well, which is so important with a long ass nail like this. And I'm just gonna go up that chevron smile with my file and perfect that even more. that pointer finger you've got to be like dead careful aren't you that you don't snap that tip with it being because so I've done that many times so oh, thin and then got oh, shit you snapped it no. <laughs> start off <laughs> over again <laughs> so don't worry about the free edge don't start filing this free edge because it's thin right let's get rid of the distracted I do love how now the, the pots are now dark and dishes. I just love that. I know. It's such a brilliant idea though, isn't it? It is. It the out, it the out, the outside will melt, but this inner won't melt. Yeah. Um, right, so we'll need a strip tease. Glass slipper. Because we're going to do some encapsulation and I've got to stop clapping because that hurts my finger. <laughs> she got very excited several times yesterday and went, ah! Oh dear, I am such an idiot. No finger clapping. It was to dust, I think you did get the dust off your hands, yeah. that's what it was. Uh, so you weren't yeah. clapping in pure like mm. cheerfulness, just clapping the finger in the corner, was not. I don't even know how you managed to do that for them to do so. It's past. I just rushing and my my mind was very occupied. This might be a tension. sign to start slowing down. Because mm. A&E is not part of your day. It takes no, too much time. it does take way too much time. I had not got time for And you that. got in quick as well. I, I did yeah. think that you were quite, quite speedy quick, in and yeah. out. Right, so we're going to use clean up solution to clean, being very gentle. 
Yes, yeah, it's fresh it's burning. So, you know when you're wiping over now? Yeah. And just in case people didn't know, what's the difference between wiping with cleanup as opposed to acetone? Right, cleanup solution dehydrates the natural nail and it also cleans it from germs. It gets rid of that dust as well, doesn't it? It gets rid of the dust, whereas acetone doesn't do that. Right, it doesn't okay. kill germs. So, we're going to use the primer on the natural nail. You don't need to put it anywhere else. That's waste. So we're going to use strip tease and we're going to rebalance as well. So we're filling the cuticle area but we're also rebalancing. So you can slide that over the top. Make sure you don't get it into this smile line. So we now check the side view. You can see we've rebalanced and pulled the apex into the back third. Again. I'll rephrase what I said before. Go on. So not first like fill, but first like actually letting them properly go out and not just like four days later putting a bit more on. Does that make sense? Four days? I can't keep nails on. It's been the longest three weeks of my life. <laughs> and then watching them grow, I just keep fidgeting with the like pushing the cuticles back to see how much they've grown. Really? She's a mess. Yeah, I can't. If you push them back, that's not really showing how much they've grown. I just can't help that's it. That's just exaggerating how much And I'm grown. normally a proper gel polish picker, like I peel it off with my teeth. And I haven't had. Do not do what? Yes, do not what she do does. as I she's, say. She, she's been good this time, haven't you? You've been, been a good, good girl, Georgie. And I am impressed with the behaviour of you. Thank you. Come again. I'm out. Three weeks time, no later. So I'm going to put a little bit of clear now. Just. At, so this is crystal clear and we're going to put a tiny bit of clear. On this bare nail. Small bead, very thin. This is just going to give you maximum adhesion with everything else that you put on. No boring. And then we know we've got one system that's attached to the nail. We've got one branded system that's attached to the nail. So then you can put anything else on top of that. The best branded system. The best. System. Biased maybe, but you know. <laughs> so y'all guys, stick around for part two, where we go all in with the design, glitter bling, the full shebang. I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da!